The weapons of this century aren't bombs and bullets and ordnance, but electromagnetic energy targeting the human being, which is a greatest revolution in military affairs um, since gunpowder. Baggage is an expert in government mind control. He is convinced the Pentagon has mastered a technology once thought to be science fiction, the ability to broadcast information directly into the human brain. Our government began spending a lot of time looking at how to modify uh, behavior of human beings. And going back to the Korean War, in fact, in um, a publication, uh, Low Intensity Conflict in Modern Technology, they have a chapter on electromagnetic weapon systems, being able to not just to debilitate someone, but actually even to stimulate certain activities within the brain. If you can modulate a signal that, that the brain locks onto, recognizes, and, and begins to mirror or, or follow the frequency following response. The brain rhythms change, then it creates a chemical cascade within the brain and the emotions change. Now the resolution gets finer and finer and finer. And it used to just to be about triggering emotions. You could change people's brain chemistry pretty readily, change their emotional state pretty easily. But when you get down to the idea of thoughts and being able to manipulate those, that requires much a different kind of sophistication. Can we hear sounds without using our ears? Not only is it possible, says Baggage, he can prove it using sound recorders, Brad Daw. So what I'm going to demonstrate is a um, earth pulse sound wave. And what this is, is an infrasound device. It's just a small electronic circuit that we run a CD player playing some Bach into our circuit and then comes out through two piezoelectric transducers. So I'm going to place these transducers on, on your face. You're going to block your ears tightly. We put those in contact with the skin and listen. Yeah. So what do you hear? I hear the music, yeah, loudly. Right in the center of their forehead, inside their head, they'll hear Bach, just like they would with their ears, but the ears aren't involved. It wasn't through my ears at all. It was basically, uh, it felt like kind of it was coming from the middle of my head, no direction and uh, it was clear. So not through my ears at all, which is pretty cool. Now we can do this wirelessly with microwave. So there's lots of ways to do it. And this just gives a very simple sort of uh, workbench model that gives the principle so people can understand, yeah, you can really do it. I've got the documents from NASA, from uh, Federal Times, from back in the 70s, the DIA, talking about how they were gonna use this microwave hearing to make, to drive political targets crazy. Good afternoon. My name is Connie Marshall. I'm a formal mayoral candidate from Louisville, Kentucky. I have never been involved in any criminal activity. I found a document in my bank account that said, problem with Kentucky government, check federal government paperwork and file before releasing information to anyone. I am an eight-year victim survivor of assaults by directed energy weapons. The torture I've experienced consists of body overheating, body extremely cold, seizures, heart pain, ear aches, itching behind eyes, burning behind eyes, swelling, headaches, involuntary movement of my limbs, exhaustion, speeding and heart racing, mind paralysis, being hypnotized or placed in a trance type state, controlled dreams, sleep deprivation, V2K, which is voice to skull, projected sound, extreme muscle spasms and extreme muscle cramps, being made to fall down, blue circles around the pupils of my eyes, and I'm here and you can look at them if you like, low frequency noises in my home, high frequency noises in my home, sexual stimulation. Welsh is also a law student at Lincoln. Through her organization, Citizens Against Human Rights Abuse, she shared documents she's gathered with hundreds of people around the world. Documents like this from the United Nations. It talks about the electromagnetic weapons and the Russians wanted to ban the weapons. In his latest book, Earth Rising, renowned author and speaker Nick Begich cites more than 30 patents that show mind control is possible by using light, sound, or electronic fields. 
as long as the pulse rate um, is, is correct and, and hits a window frequency. Vegas used this infrasound device to demonstrate on me. I can hear it when you press it to my skin, but not when you take it off. Right. So that's sending the signal through my skin. Through your nervous system, right into the brain, and the brain is decoding it. And so it's almost like it's right in the center of your head. And you can do that even if it, you weren't touching my skin? Not with this device, but if I were using a microwave carrier at a distance, we could achieve the same thing. He says the sound could then be used to control my behavior, and the waves can be sent through any energy source. We're in uh, the beginning of a new millennium, and believe me, the stuff that's happened in the past is happening again. Baggage says the technology is not extremely advanced. If the military can figure it out, individuals can too. Once that happens, advertisers, politicians, terrorists, anyone could have the ability to control your mind. Well, Nick Begich has been able to convince the European Parliament to call for a ban in the beginning of treaty dialogue for anything that can manipulate human behavior.